a village. Nothing happens, whether you're right-sizing the organization, whether you're putting programs together and delivering them to the community and those that are in the most need and underserved, it absolutely takes a village to get any of this done. From their so own you are very looking at from their own, from the inside, right? And, and, and that's how we started. Um, years ago, Michelle continued with her mission and expanded it into working with also the parents. The parents that came hopeless many times looking for resources, looking for support. How many of us are parents here today? The mission continue uh, expanding into working with marriages, working with those marriages that even if they recently started or they have been together for many years, they still needed that support, that communication. It, it expanded into working with the community as well, with the food distributions that happen monthly, with the work that we're doing right now here with the prototypes, right? Um, it is a, this show has continued to be a beacon of hope for, for the persons that we serve as well, for men and women that regardless of their situation, they're still human, they're still parents, they're still son, sons of, and daughters. And just like that, every program that we do, every community event, everything that we do goes back to our mission, which is providing hope, providing resources, providing education to people to become better individuals, to become whole. And that's what we're doing today. I do want to say that we don't stand alone. The only reason why we're able to do the work that we do is thanks to partners like you, thanks to the supporters, thanks to the officials that, that believe in us, thanks to the police officers that support us and keep us safe as well, thanks to all the community leaders that have that have helped us. And um, it's really because of you and your support that our life remains on. And today we're coming here today in a, in a bittersweet day, but we're gonna do the work that, we're gonna continue the work that, that we're doing, right? And we're gonna be packing this book bags because this book bags represent uh, for our students that we believe in them. That regardless of the situation that they're in, that regardless of what's going on at home, regard, regardless of the financial situation of, that their parents have, we believe that they have the opportunity of changing their future and, um, and, and, and they're gonna do so, they're gonna do so. And today we're gonna be packing, we're gonna finish packing the 2,000 book bags that we have been working on for about five months. You are gonna be part of it. We're gonna be splitting different teams. And um, I just wanna say thank you again. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting today and before because many of you have been with us for many months working in this initiative and today is the culmination. And I'm very grateful and thank you so much. Hey, I mean, as many of you have, we've seen Be Strong under the leadership of Michelle Shirley grow from literally giving out backpacks in the uh, driveway at Village Hall to giving out thousands of backpacks all across Miami-Dade County. What she has done with this organization and with the all of the folks that she's brought on uh, is really remarkable. So she tells me, listen, we're really kind of outgrowing this space, so we're gonna start looking for other spaces. Now Kitty loves to say that this was one of the spaces that they looked at, but I was so happy to hear just a few months ago that Be Strong is now the owner of the building that they are in right across from Village Hall on East High School. And I'm even more honored to sure that everybody gets invited that's here today on October 4th at 4 p.m. Are you marking it down? October 4th at 4 p.m. Can look at some people are marking it down. Don't worry. We'll, I love it. We'll, I'll remind you. Uh, we are going to be naming Be Strong Way right here in the village of Palmetto Bay to ensure that Be Strong never leaves the village of Palmetto Bay. So thank you for all the work you're doing. You're very near and dear to me. We appreciate you. Uh, and thank you to all of you. I'll be looking forward to finding out who won last year. I saw you nodding, so okay. All right. Well, I already started. I've got a thousand packs, so let me see if you can you. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to turn back over to you. This year, we, you, did out, you outdid yourselves again, Be Strong. So congratulations. This is an energetic, fun, backpack uh, filling uh, event. and. Really, it's been such a joy to come and, and really get as excited as some of you about how quickly and efficiently we can pack these bags. But while we have fun here, I really want to remind us all of, of what, why we're doing this. And I'll do that by telling you that when
when I came to South Dade, uh, I came from Columbia when I was eight years old, um, my family and I counted on distributions like these to make sure that I was set up for success for the school year. And so today, to be able to represent all of District 9, from Pinecrest to Florida City, to ensure that the 350,000 little Louisas that are in our classrooms today uh, are being set up for success because each and every single one of you decided to take time out of your summer to show up and set them up for success is the most beautiful thing we can all be a part of. And it's an honor to represent our, our schools on the school board. It's an honor to partner with incredible organizations, uh, specifically Be Strong. We got the chance to honor them uh, with the resolution at the school board last um, day, which was very special. And we also honored the legacy uh, of Ms. McGraw because um, I got to know her a little bit before she passed. And she really was a force to be reckoned with. And today we all get to live out her legacy uh, by continuing the work. And so to celebrate that special occasion, I did bring a uh, proclamation, and we are presenting this to be strong, but I'll read, I won't read the whole thing for you, but I'll read the bottom. Um, now therefore to be resolved that this proclamation be presented to be strong international in celebration of its back to school strong 2024 event celebrated on August 2nd, 2024. And we also recognize the many organizations and individuals who joined Be Strong International in this initiative in support of the education of the children in our community presented this second day of August 8th, 2024. Be Strong!